Hi guys, welcome to my channel. It's your girl Stefania. And as you guys can tell by the title of this video, this video is gonna be about five tips to get over a breakup like a boss, okay? To come back from a relationship disappointment. It could have been like a fling. It could have been like somebody that you really wanted to be in a long-term relationship with and it didn't turn out the way that you wanted to. And I'm gonna give you guys some tips and tricks that worked for me on how to get over a breakup or like a situation ship or something like that, okay? Take it how it resonates to your situation, guys. Um, everybody's situation is different, but it's just like to get over a disappointment, okay? Um, the year 2024 just started and we wanna bring in fresh energy into the year. We wanna be our best selves and we want to attract the best love. And in order to do so, we need to release baggages from the past so that we don't repeat the same cycle going forward, okay? And collectively, I just feel like 2024 is gonna be a year of a lot of like engagement, a lot of weddings, okay? So we wanna make sure that we are in the energy to receive the love that we desire. So we have to let go of past energy, okay? So here are my five tips for you guys that actually work for me. Whenever I go through relationship disappointment or relationship breakup, how do I bounce back like a boss? okay <laughs> okay so the first tip here so if you guys see me looking down is because i have a list and i have some notes so the first thing is you have to know that this person that ended up disappointing you um their inability to see your worth is not your fault okay um you could be the best person in the world, the best looking woman in the world, the best looking man, because it could be for men as well. It doesn't have to be just for women. But like you could be the best person that you could be, the best version of yourself, and it's still not good enough for someone. It could be for multiple reasons. Maybe they have some sort of issues, like childhood trauma that they need to go through. Um, maybe they just don't know what they want, okay? Or maybe you just were not the person that they were looking for. Maybe you're out of this person's league. That could be the issue too. Maybe you're thinking that I'm not good enough. It could just be like you were too much for this person. And they couldn't, they knew that they didn't have what it takes to keep you. So they had to bail. So just know that it's not your fault per se, okay? That's one thing that you would need to understand. Um, maybe some of you are looking for closure. You may not get the closure that you need and it is very important for you to get your own closure and know that it's not really your fault that this person bailed out on you, ghosted you. Like you have to like know that it's not because of you per se, okay? Unless like it was a toxic relationship and you knew you were the toxic one, then that's different. But when you knew, you know that you did everything that you could in order to make this relationship work and it still failed, just know that like, you know, if you could sleep well at night knowing that you put your best foot forward, then you know it's not your fault, okay? Um, the second point I have is um, get therapy if you need it, okay? Um, I know sometimes relationships could have like a toll on our self-esteem, uh, make us feel like we are not worth it, we are not worthy, we are not like, you know, good enough. Talk to a trusted friend. Talk to relatives that you know you could confine in. Or like I said, get counseling, okay? The reason why I say this is for you not to hold on to resentment, for you to have like a, an objective standpoint, like for someone else to tell you from their perspective how they're viewing the relationship. So that way it's not like a biased opinion, especially if it's like counseling, it's not gonna be a biased opinion because they don't know you like that. So they will just give you an objective, like um, they will tell you exactly what they see based on the information that you give them. And they will also help you see where you could have improved for your next relationship, okay? Because a relationship is a two-way street. Yes, this person may have not been the right one for you, may have, may have treated you incorrectly, unfairly, but there is also um, something that you have to look within yourself to see where you yourself you could have done better. Not that maybe if you would have done better, it would have made the relationship better, but it, it's more in a term where, like, how did you allow the situation to unfold that way? Like, maybe there's certain red flags that you missed in the relationship that showed you that it was not going to work, that you could have just like cut your losses instead of like continuing. That, that could be uh, another point too. Um, another thing is get busy with your life, okay? That's step number, that's tip number three. Get busy with your life, okay? Because 
when you have new hobbies when you spend more time with the people that you love when you do you channel that energy you become an alchemist you channel that pain into something creative so the reason why i say that is very i feel like this is like one of the main things that will help you get over a relationship breakup a, a relationship disappointment like a boss is that you transmute that energy into something powerful something creative you see how like you know i and like certain artists whenever they go through a heartbreak they come back harder with their music because they they're putting that pain into their music and we're you know when we listen to it, we're feeling it because we're going through that ish too so that's the same thing use that power use that energy to fuel your creative endeavors okay so let's say if you just got recently and like from your heartbreak i can't even speak guys somebody doesn't want me to get this message out <laughs> but like let's say if you just got over like you just went through a breakup with someone and like i'm not saying that you shouldn't cry or anything like that like crying is good because it releases like you know the energy it allows you to cleanse your soul but don't stay home crying all day like no we're not doing that in 2024 we're not crying all day we're not crying over anybody because that person while you're crying over them they might be already you know doing something else with someone else you know like you're wasting your time crying over this person yes have a good cry but then like move on to the next thing like you know let's say if you're a painter instead of like wasting your time crying over and over for the same situation use that pain to like paint like draw in like your best painting if you're a dancer dance that energy away if you are an athlete you know just go work out go to the gym revenge body like seriously like channel all that energy every time you go to the gym and then you're pushing those weights like you're pulling the weights and you feel like giving up just remember that person that broke your heart be like no i have to do this i have to keep pushing you know just remember that use that energy to fuel your workouts okay just do that one more set because that person you know just use that energy and eventually you're going to get over that eventually you're, gonna, you're not even going to think about them when you go to the gym it's just going to be like a normal routine for you but just in the beginning when you're starting to get over them use that energy instead of like okay like some of you could be writers journal write a book like you know one thing i know that will really work if you are a writer like myself i like to write i journal a lot write a letter to yourself and write a letter to this person. You don't have to mail it to them. You don't have to send it to them. Write a letter about all the things that you would like to say to them. Even if it's like not so nice, it doesn't matter. Just write it down and burn it. So that way you could kind of like release the energy. So that's something that I would say if you are a writer, you could use. But just use that energy to put it within yourself. Like this person is like maybe they might come back maybe you might reconcile in the future who knows it depends on how the relationship was if it was not toxic you guys just parted ways or whatever it is okay because everybody's situation is different if you feel like you can reconcile with this person in the future then do so if not then you're gonna find somebody better i promise you there is billions of people on this planet you will find someone better i promise you okay so that's three um two uh two oh my gosh <laughs> four <laughs> so step uh tip number four accept the role that you played in the relationship that's like what i said earlier about not noticing the red flags one of the tips is like um were you too nice to this person were you people pleasing if you have an issue with people pleasing maybe you need to like i said going back to therapy the point number two go to therapy figure out what is it about like your attachment style are you an avoidant are you um like you know what is your attachment style like what are your triggers your childhood wounds that is causing you to maybe hold on to someone too tightly out of fear of being abandoned like Think about these things to see like where you could have gone like better you could have done better oh my gosh somebody doesn't want me to speak guys somebody doesn't want me to talk <laughs> but you have to think about these things and also one point did you speak your mind when your boundaries were being crossed okay and that could be like you know a reason why this relationship kind of failed maybe you you allowed this person to cross your boundaries and you didn't say anything and you allowed resentment to sit in to fester in and that could have caused the demise of this connection so 
these are like lessons for you to learn and become better in your next relationship because 2024 is all about elevating okay my channel is all about elevating it's all about self-improvement lifestyle changes lifestyle choices beauty skincare i'm all here to give you guys tips and tricks that work for me to elevate my life to elevate myself to that soft blur soft glow wow soft girl era i would say soft woman era because i am a woman i am no longer a girl <laughs> but still um but yeah this channel is really about that guys so that's what i'm really like passionate about giving you guys tips and tricks that actually work for me because i feel like other people will benefit from these tips okay and tip number five is to become a better version of yourself like that's all about self-improvement okay self-improvement that's like the main thing about like the topic of this channel like the main energy of this channel is about improving yourself in every aspect of your life not just your looks okay like you could look good but if you you're walking around with a broken heart with low energy low vibration that's all you're going to be attracting even if you look really pretty on the outside the inside also matters it's not just about what you look on the outside your inside is going to be very important because that's what's going to be reflected back to you within the universe within your environment if you believe that you are worthy of love what you're worthy of respect this is what you're going to accept not necessarily attract because you could attract like negative people because you shine bright but are you going to accept that treatment that's the difference that's what's going to be. that's what's going to set you apart oh my god somebody doesn't want to talk <laughs> that's what's going to set you apart from people that look good on the inside and outside and people that only look good on the outside okay like you're going to be the ones that look good on the inside and out like you're shining bright within and without okay that's going to differentiate you how you, what you allow in your world what you allow in your life whether it is like through friendship through relationship through the way that you treat yourself what you put in your body like what you eat your diet that's going to reflect okay so if you eat well your body is going to be you know at your service if you don't eat well you treat your body like a um, dumpster then it's going to reflect that okay so yeah like what I uh, going back to becoming a better version of yourself like change your hairstyle change your wardrobe that fits you that is more of the future your future self who you want to be who you believe that you are the way that you present yourself to the world is how you're going to be treated okay and you want to be treated with value with respect so you also have to respect yourself respect your mind respect your body respect your soul and you're not going to allow anybody around you or in your world to disrespect you if they disrespect you they gotta go okay in 2024 we're not playing these games anybody who's disrespecting you who's not respecting your boundaries they gotta go they can't be around you because when you allow people like that around you it's going to lower your vibration and it's going to stop you from manifesting the life of your dreams or manifesting the right person for you so let's say for instance you are still stuck on this person that broke your heart maybe in 2023 or maybe a couple of years back and you're still not over it you're unable to um attract new energies new circumstances new um new experiences because you're still stuck in that cycle okay your vibration is low you want to uh, like heighten your vibration so that way whatever you desire is going to be a match to you that's the only way that you're going to be able to attract it okay and my bonus point for you guys because i always have a bonus point the bonus point is to remain positive like i just said guys okay Re surround yourself with people you love listen to positive affirmation in the morning and throughout the day and keep a gratitude journal i promise you i have bought a gratitude journal before i used to just write them in my notebooks like my gratitude and stuff like that but i found like having a journal specifically for gratitude keeps me on track and it really like motivates me i use it in the morning and then i use it at night because there's two sections there's a morning section and there's a night section like it keeps me on track guys i really love it i got it from timu um you could search it on timu uh, gratitude journal and you'll find it they have different colors mine is pink 
I really think that pink is probably like one of my favorite colors, pink and purple, because all of like the journals that I got are all pink. Um, but positive affirmation, guys. One thing that I've noticed that worked really for me is that, you know, trying to get over a disappointment is that whenever I feel sad and I start thinking about what the person did to me or how they treated me, I start listening to positive affirmation and my energy just switched just like that. When I tell you positive affirmation works, guys, it's like, there's, it's the frequency, just listening to someone like, you know, a voice saying that I am worthy of love, I am worthy of, you know, beautiful things, whatever it is that they're saying, it's just positive affirmation, it's reinforcement for you, and I promise you, if you guys do that, you will be able to get over this person, like, in a minute. Every time that you feel like, oh, like, the uh, memory starts to creep back in, put a positive affirmation video on YouTube, whatever, just listen to it. I promise you, your energy is going to heighten. You're going to forget about this person. Like, you're not going to think about them. I normally listen to those ones that are like eight hours long so that way I could just listen to it throughout the day. Even if I'm doing something, I'm doing the dishes, I'm listening to it. Like, I'm just, you know, repeating after it and like just making sure that my mind, like your mind is your powerful tool, guys. Like, utilize your mind to the best of your abilities and use your mind for like as an ally, not an enemy, okay? Okay? This is one thing that I know that worked really well for me is that when I just think about all the positive things that I want to accomplish, I also got a gold, a gold, gold, goal journal where you write down all your goals for the months. Guys, I can't wait to use it. I just got it today and I got it from Timu as well, guys. I'm telling you, Timu is the ish. <laughs> but yeah, guys, like really, like I'm so pumped. I just know that 2024 is going to be that year, guys. And if you guys stick with me, you like my videos, you will see every little tips and tricks that work for me. I will be glad to share with you guys because I really want us to elevate in 2024 because, yo, we ain't got time to be sad this year. Life is too beautiful and life is too short to be crying over somebody who doesn't even value you, okay? So that's all I have for you guys. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, don't forget to like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you guys in my next video, okay? Bye!